love these high-waisted jeans. They're more fitted. They're a high-waisted baggy jean. And they're great. Paired with a jean jacket. But it's gonna be like 60 degrees out today, so it's already warm. Just got back from meeting Jamie for lunch. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to eat this meal. It's a sun-dried tomato pasta dish. Come look at it. Let's try this pasta. It smells very good and tomatoey. I added some salt and pepper because I didn't put the chicken broth, you know, in with, there's a cat here, in with the sun-dried tomatoes before you puree it. So I don't know if it's gonna be salty enough. So I added a little salt and pepper. Mm. That's really good. It's very light. And I'm sure the sauce will absorb cat one. The flavor. You know, I'm gonna grab a little Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Brought my cat back. She's the only one allowed on my lap because she doesn't try to eat my food. I feel like it needs a little Parmesan. So as much as I love that bouquet, I don't love, <laughs> I don't love painting something geometric, especially when I know what it's like as a flower. And I have these flowers, these wildflowers over here, there, and yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to paint these anymore. Um, so... I'm going to just work on my top secret project. So here we go. So my idea is I was just photographing my upcoming collection and I was working on another project. I get these random bursts of creativity at 3 p.m. I feel like most of the time, most of my day spent as an artist is me working towards trying to create something but not yet feeling it and doing other things or kind of bouncing back and forth until the creativity hits kind of my process and a lot of times it feels very painful because I feel like my brain is going in 12 different directions and then once 3 p.m. hits I get this rush of inspiration and I go and I create all these things so I have a painting over there I have one over there I have a sketch over here with coloring I just photograph my collection and I do the majority of my work <laughs> in like 30 minutes the rest of it, I don't even know what I'm doing. In the mornings, I try to batch reels. So I was doing that a good chunk of the day, had some breaks, did housework this morning. So that's kind of what I did today. Um, thanks for following along. If you've got to this point, you're a trooper. You really are. It is a beautiful, sunny, 60 degree day. And I'm gonna go make some muffins now um, and enjoy this weather because we're going to get rain tomorrow and then it's slowly going to turn into snow and 30 degrees in a few days. So hopefully it won't, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Glad you're here and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Today, the sun has finally come out. 
So, I was just working on my daughter's painting for her birthday. I make one every year for her birthday. And now I am working on an idea. I wanted to really go somewhere with this. I love these florals here and this vase, and this was inspired by a reference photo. Um, and then the rest of the things just kind of came about. So I'm going to like try to reiterate it and play around with it in my sketchbook because I really love this Bristol paper, but I need to work out some more ideas in my sketchbook before I go on to another piece of paper, I think. So that's what I'm working on this morning. Pasta. Having the leftovers turns out it is even better when you let it sit. But I keep feeling like I mean Mexican food because um, the kind of tomatoes I used were like Mexican style. Um, so yeah, it's like Mexican pasta, but a little different. And I added some more sun dried tomatoes on top. But I'm gonna go eat this and then get back into the studio. Paint some more dinosaurs <laughs> for my daughter. And yeah, work on some projects. Okay, before we paint, why do I keep doing this? In this bag of rice is are my wireless earphones. This is the second pair I've accidentally washed in the washing machine. You know, corded earphones you don't accidentally forget them in your pocket because there's so much cord you cannot possibly forget them. These are too sleek and concise. This is why we'll never buy AirPods. They will be soaking here. I don't know how long the time. So I just finished my daughter's, no, I didn't finish the painting. I have two more dinosaurs left, but many dinosaurs later, I have just found out that these earphones are waterproof. I was <laughs> watching an Instagram story and I clicked it and I'm like, why is the sound not coming out of my phone? And then I heard the person talking through my <laughs> earphones in the bag of rice. <gasps> so everything is okay. And I have this really cool portrait painting I was working on yesterday and I wanted to kind of describe a feeling I was feeling last week going through some personal things and so I got myself back in that place yesterday and when I was painting this I just like felt all of the emotions that I felt while like I was trying in this situation I was trying to articulate the feeling of and I just never knew that I could paint like that. I'm not one, I like to paint when I feel happy. Um, so painting for me when sad is very hard and that's probably why I don't do it. Um, but I wanted that to be translated in the piece. And I feel like I did a really good job of it, but I just rolled over it with my chair. And so I might be able to sell prints of it now, but I can't sell the original. Why did I do that? A huge crease in the piece. I am working on a freelance project. I have a freelance client right now and I'm working on a project for their company. And it is really fun. Finished the first project, we will see if we continue, if they like it. They said they'd like to do work on a continual basis. Um, just a few things I'm waiting on. Um, but I wanted to share, I guess, just my thoughts 
on this because as an artist, I personally struggle with trying to price my work effectively. You know, um, I use Upwork a lot to get freelance work and for that in your profile, you need to put like how much you charge an hour, but based on different projects you apply for, some people have a certain budget. And I know that sometimes you have to weigh the option of, do I lower my price to fit their budget because I really want this project? Or do I not because I know that my work is worth more? Um, and I think this just, it's just a really hard thing to do as an artist because I have a part-time job, so I have another income that I can rely on, but I know some people, if they're just freelancers, they have to stick with their price. And sometimes that means you can't do certain work for people because they won't, they won't pay your, your price. Um, and yeah, I... I want to get more freelance work so that I can just quit my part-time job and I can do this full-time. Um, but yeah, that's just, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around because it is tricky. Um, and there's some things where it's just like the exposure is great even if the price isn't the same because you still then have that piece to put in your portfolio. But sometimes too, I think you could always if someone is charging, won't won't like pay what you are charging, you always can take that idea that they had in mind and create your own work for it and then use it as a portfolio piece and go apply for some other work and have that. That's always that's always an option. But no, um it's it's been fun working on it so far. It's felt a lot more like I'm already very disciplined when I come here into my studio on my days off work from my part-time job and I have a list of what I want to get done and I work as if someone is paying me the entire time um, but also just I feel like I'm really disciplined and I feel like <clears throat> in doing that that set me up for when I have freelance clients I can then go and get to work but there's still like this terrified feeling I have where I'm like, I need to get it right and make it amazing because I want, because it matters. And I think that's why it's because it matters so much to me. And my most, the work that I'm the most proud of is the work that I get to create for other people. Um, and I've always felt that way too when I do commissions too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that because being an artist, the whole pricing money part of it can be really hard and it can feel weird. Um, and like being up front with clients about pricing to make sure you get paid and all of that. Um, yeah, I just want to share that, get that off my chest, maybe share it to you if you were an artist and you felt that way as well. You're not alone. Um, yeah. Really excited for dinner tonight. Making bang bang chicken and I found this recipe and I already like marinated the chicken and put the sauce together, tasted it. Tastes just like the bonefish grill has bang bang shrimp and that's what it tastes like. I'm so excited. See you soon. <laughs>